friends and welcome back to my channel. I am Sheik. I am a 30 something year old girl living in the upper space of my in-laws house. It's basically like mm, a little bigger than a studio apartment up here. And with that, I have one closet to put all my things in. Some of you might see this and think, wow, that's honestly not that, that's not that much stuff. But you'd be surprised. I literally going through to pull things out of this. Oh gosh. Sorry, I live in Southern California and I forget what the rain sounds like and it's currently coming down. So anyway, today's video, we are doing a closet clean out and I never thought I would do one of these videos. Like I'm, not, I'm gonna be honest, like I don't really watch these types of videos, but I have seen a few, a couple of my friends have done them and I thought, well, my closet does need a purging and I do have some tips I can share with you guys because I do love organizing. Like I honestly like organizing. If you could see my whole room right now, it's pretty taken care of for living in such a small space and if you have a small place, keeping things organized as as much as you can really helps the mental health. So I'd like to share a tip that I heard that was really good on one of the random videos that I watched because I was just like, how do I even film this? Like, what do I even start with? When I'm by myself, I'm not like, okay, no, I usually do talk to myself, but I'm not talking to the camera when I do this sort of thing. So I thought, what is the best way to kind of start the organization? And I've been taught that pulling out your for sure like staples of your style i feel great in this i love how this looks this is mine i claim it i wear it if you already have no doubt that you love those items just take them out put them out of the whole equation because you already know where you stand with that it's the other ones that we needed to start to sort through so i'm gonna do that first and foremost i'm a sweater girl i'm wearing a hoodie it's not even that cold in here but i am and so I for sure would be pulling out these cute sweaters. I have a few of these. Actually, I got this one from a thrift store, the bubble sleeve, cute. It's like not like too extreme, but it's a bubble. And so I'm just gonna go through pulling out these sweaters. This is something I recently worn. I feel like I looked frumpy in it, but I got so many compliments. I definitely have some other styles or ways I wanna style this, but isn't it cute? I got this from from a boutique a long time ago that I used to work at. I'm currently looking for possible work again because the content creation stuff, it's not going where I thought it would go um, or I'm not working hard enough. Maybe both. I don't know. It's a whole thing, you guys. Anyway, we're not getting into that. That's not what today's video is about. This is super cute. I got it from Star Wars Land. A twin sun delight. This is like my one coat that I have. It's nice. I got it because of Wednesday Adams. No joke. I love black and white though. So her whole like wardrobe, I would just, I'm surprised I don't own already because I just, I love it. I love black and white. So I forgot to mention that I really want to go back to the neutrals only. I slowly started to throw more color into my wardrobe, but like almost every time I wear stuff that's very colorful, I don't feel like myself and I feel too bright and too much. Like it's just, it's, it's another like, Honestly, lots of color is like a sensory overload for me, which can be a little complicated because I have like a whole stream set up that's like chaos, but it looks so cool in my streams that I allow it because that's like what catches people's attention. But honestly, I'm like, uh, when I move again, I think I'm going back to my neutrals everywhere. So I'm gonna keep going through this because these are most likely the clothing I'm gonna keep because I usually am here first on this side of the closet. So it's a lot of like, clothing I just use often but afterwards we're gonna go over why I feel like some of my clothing is causing my mental health to struggle a little bit and what I'm gonna do about that how I think it'll help and how it might help you too to go through your closet and ask the same questions that I did you guys we have a little bit of a problem um so all of this was on my bed and now it's on my floor. So I think this is gonna be my thumbnail. This is my life now. <laughs> this is all the clothes I'm keeping. So yeah, this is the clothes I'm keeping and it doesn't need to be on the ground. I love this. 
feel like I'm getting like overheated in this sweater now. I'm gonna open the window. I don't even. All right, this is great. So I'm on my pile of things I wanna keep. I do have a little bit of cosplay items in here because I feel like a schoolgirl uniform is like a staple piece for those who cosplay. Sometimes you don't know what to wear and you're like, I'm just gonna wear my school uniform. Now that we have my pile of things I'm gonna keep, which some of it's still some color. Well, if it's cosplay, I don't really care about that because that's just like a costume. But I do like yellow. Yellow is a very bright and fun color, but yellow with black and white, beautiful. Love that color combination, so I do keep yellow. But now we're gonna go through the clothes that I, some of it, I kind of wasn't sure. And so we're gonna go through and I kind of go over why I may be getting rid of some of these. So some stuff I forgot to go through. I have this thing from Ikea that's in this corner. There are things in here that I just need to get rid of and we're just gonna do it on here. This I actually made. It's like supposed to be like a shawl thing you throw over. Game of Thrones, Lord of the Rings. Yes, I made this and I wanna keep it because faux fur is not cheap. It's usually like 40 to $50 a yard. If you go to Joann's. So for this, I have a lot of t-shirts and things that I wanna get through and I don't, I don't need it. I feel like this video, I was super excited to do this video, but now I'm like, this is a lot of work. I'm starting to get tired already. Ah! Okay, where am I supposed to put this if I have the clothes that's like, I'm keeping on here? All right, so first things first, all of my Star Wars is gonna be kept. Like, yes, honey, yes, 100%. Actually, if I'm gonna keep it, we'll just put it back. This shirt, a lot of people like it. It's not around on my, it's like a fast fashion piece. Not really proud of it. It was at, I bought it at the time, I didn't care. I was thought, oh, it's cheap, it's affordable, it's cute, but now I'm like, intentional buying. That's what I was gonna say, intentional buying. I think it's important to go through and really think about what you're gonna buy. Don't just get it because it's cheap. Don't just get it because, oh, that's kind of cute. Like, really look at it. What outfits will this go with? Does this layer well? Is it just because I'm in the moment and I think this is really cute and I just wanna buy it and I'm probably gonna throw it in the thrift store two months later, if not sooner? Or is it gonna sit with a tag forever and maybe I'll fit in it one day? This shirt was cute. Did I try it on at the thrift store? No. It normally would fit me if I wasn't more of a, if I was less busty. It doesn't fit me in a certain area that a crop top makes a difference if you don't fit in that area. So, like it's cute, like look at this. But when I wear it, it's just like bam. And I don't know if you guys, any of you can relate to this. When I wear something and it's tight on the pits, like where you can just feel the sweat already soaking up or whatever, even if you're not a sweaty person, when it's just tight in cert certain areas, I feel like I'm an adult trying to wear kid clothes. Okay, so this shirt, I feel bad. It's been washed so many times. My friend's mom made this for me and the words are just washing off. I think it said like, I run on Red Bull and Jesus. It was when I worked at a preschool and that's literally was my life. I almost never drink Red Bull now. I try to stick to black coffee because of avoiding sugars and over like sodium high levels or whatever. So I really am more of a coffee and Jesus kind of girl now. It's not official, I thought it was. I ordered it online and when I got it, I'm like, oh, they literally just printed it onto a t-shirt. I feel a little conflicted as a Disney fan, but I'm going to wear it. I love Wally. I'm like a big Wally fan. So yes, okay, so this one, Zelda keeping. This shirt I used to wear. When I would stream, I was trying to go through this cute like, oh, I'm kawaii and colorful now. And honestly, that's just not me. I just, I would wear it and I just, ugh. It's too bright, it's too pink, and it's gotta go. This is cute, but every time I wear it, I feel, I feel frumpy in this. And I love this shirt so much, but it doesn't fit me anymore. It says limited edition. I got it so long ago and I keep it because I keep thinking, Oh, when I'm skinnier again, when I'm smaller, because it really doesn't fit me well. Like, it's super tight. It feels like it's pushing me down. Don't wait on when it's the right time to fit in it. Like, just, when that time comes, 
you will be in a whole other style or era most likely and you'll want to just get something that fits you at that time really this is your sign if you're holding on to something in hopes that your body's going to change and you'll one day wear it that one day is going to be a whole other time and you're going to want to wear something different probably i think that's good advice please don't tell me that's the heater the heater just got turned on so i'm going to change real quick and we will come back to this plus i probably should change because i am going to try some things on so i think if i put a plain tee on that'll be good but yes the heater's on and guess where it's coming from so i open my window because as the top level resident all the heat comes up here it is nice when it's really cold and it gets the sting out but i'm like i don't feel like the house is that cold I'm sorry if I look a little tired like I didn't really try to throw on anything nice because this is our like hey we're hanging out and cleaning today look complete with I have these nice comfy bottoms on okay we're back and I changed the angle because I didn't like the lighting and I'm like why am I facing away from the light also I don't know where my phone is it's right here I literally I looked in this pile I looked in this pile and I didn't see it and guess where it is sitting right there I'm a little worried that you can hear the I had to like close the vent because it's blowing like hot air down here Oh, I can talk again. Okay, cool. I hope you didn't mind the over the voiceover. Most of my jeans, I only have kept what I really can wear, but there are a few in here that oh, it's going to make me sad to get rid of, but I have to come to terms. I am not like losing the booty. The booty is here right now to stay and it can't fit in a lot of these jeans. The thighs either, but I love these jeans. They're like a raw hem stretchy and flared black jeans but for some reason i washed them once and they just didn't fit the same ever again so i'm like they're probably just cheaply made these are cute they're a little tight but they're i can still wear them background story if you're like wondering why i bring up my body and everything or if i seem like i'm being a little hard on myself is um before 2020 i actually got really fit i was out and I was on my feet daily. I was eating very clean and I started doing running and I fit in a lot of smaller clothing. Like I went up a couple sizes. From 2020, I gained about 30 pounds and it was all in the lower area. So like just all in the thighs and the butt area. Um, the chest maybe a little bit, but yeah. So basically a lot of my jeans and other bottoms, I try to still squeeze in, but it's just kind of an annoying area to grow in because it's not like I grew taller or any of that or overall like balance. It's just like all there because I sat constantly from 2020 to like this year, 2023. I started noticing like veins showing up on my legs. Like I could tell it wasn't healthy. So I'm not um, trying to talk bad about having a curvier body or maybe having some like weight on you. I know it's specifically from me sitting and being inactive and eating whatever the heck I wanted and now I'm starting to see that my legs cramp up more if I sit too long. My sciatic nerve is acting up more than when I stretched every day and took care of myself. So it's honestly, I could see how I let my health down and now with clothing it's been a little bit of a rough ride i guess i can say with that i am getting back into shape so i know like some of it might fit a little bit better but if it's just super tight or whatever like i'm just gonna let it go i'm not there right now just wanted to have a disclaimer that i'm <laughs> that's why i just kind of like want to get back into feeling better and being more fit there's a lot of cute clothes in here that i have to just get rid of that I did. oh i was wondering where these were these actually fit me and they're super cute Okay, I was wondering where these pants were. These were some pants that uh, were given to me, but they really don't fit. They hurt when I put on, so out they go. Another reason I have kept clothing 
besides it being cute and wishing I could fit into this. Look at the print. But another reason that, why did I buy these? A five? I haven't been a size five since like 2017. Oh yeah, these do fit. I got a booty, but these fit. They fit booty girls. Oh my gosh, these are cute. My friend got me these. These are, they go to a pajama set. These are so cute. I always forget to just put them on. They're so cute. Little Hello Kitty. So I know I'm not a colorful girl. I told you that. But my husband loves pink and blue. Like he's the one who likes color. He likes just if our dream home is that it during the day will look black and white. Like the furniture, everything's black and white with some grays. But at night, LEDs are all over the house that you don't know of because you know it's you can't see unless it's on. So at night when everything illuminates, it's all pink and blue. And of course with white walls or white furniture, it kind of like reflects the color. Anyway, so that's our that's what we're, our plan is at night. It's his house, his vibe I mean. And then during the day, it's like, ah, oh, it's not too colorful and bright. I do like LEDs. Like you can tell, like maybe you can tell, maybe you can't. Anyway, I have an LED strip and I do keep it on like a pink or a blue because it is pretty. One thing I do want to share, this is what I meant to share and I keep getting all over the place because that's how my brain works. My mom always told me that to one, take care of your space because when you're trusted with a little, you can be trusted with a lot. And when you take care of what little you have, you tend to be blessed with more. God sees you as taking care of what little you have. And not that I like do things only because I'm like, oh, I want to be blessed. That's like what's helping me right now. And I just felt to share that. I just really wanted to share this. Maybe that's someone out there just needed that encouragement or a reminder. So anyway, that's enough of my TED talk. Let's get back. So this is something I got. I'm not sure about it. I feel like David would be like, don't get rid of it. It's super cute because it is. And I think I'll keep it because we did get this before we got married. It was to wear to Disneyland together and I still haven't worn it with him. I feel like he'd be sad. I struggle seeing myself really cute in dresses, so I'm like, mm. And then the next thing is this. I I love this shirt, but I just like never wear it. So I'm late, I didn't want to come. Like it's funny, but now I'm like, I never wear it because I feel like people won't take the joke well and it's just not my personality too much. Well, maybe it is. I don't know, we're getting rid of it. This, I feel like I need to try this on. <laughs> Do you guys want to see me in this? I haven't worn it in over a year. And I think it's time to say goodbye. And like, okay, so what's fun is that the pocket is like this. I loved these because like the pocket, there's like Oompa Loompa bottoms, okay? This is the pocket, like a side like gaping hole. <sighs> I miss you, but like I never wear you. Goodbye. All right, next on. This is one I'd probably sell. It's Topshop. Very cute place to get cute clothing. I got this actually from Nordstrom Rack. It still has one of the tag things on. If that doesn't say that you don't wear this, then I don't know what does. I got this because I thought it would be cute on me. No joke, I put this thing on and I was just like, like these are like out here. I feel like this top's a little bit better for those who are flatter. I wish I was flatter chested, I just do. But I'm not and it just looks it just looks very awkward like it like the design here just gets crumpled and then you just see these things like Sorry guys, sorry if there's guys watching it's so cute But this is something I would sell because I know it's like mint condition It's new and your girl poor. I don't feel bad if I sell some of these items I have some name brand items that I want to sell like some vans and one of my Doc Martin pairs of boots I would like to sell because I just never wear them. This, I wore this on my first date with David to Disneyland and that's not a reason to keep something. Not for me. All right, and then there's this that I got from the time that I was um, engaged and trying to like take cute photos and stuff. And I just never want to wear it. It looks very like like, you know, kind of boho chic, like you would wear one of these with like some cowgirl boots or something. That's not me. I never want a pair of cowgirl boots. I'm sorry. Nope. I will wear my Doc Martens all forever. And then this, the Maleficent top that I bought while I was with a friend and she thought it'd be really fun and cute. I wore it once. I didn't leave the house in it because I thought it looked ridiculous and I'm going to show you what it looks like on me. 
No. I'm trying to be a little sexy, but then it's like, oh, I'm cute with like my little puff, like princess sleeves. It's just very confusing. I don't know what to do about this. I bought this on Amazon a long time ago. I thought I was being cute and quirky with it. The back says, we're not going to give up on destroying the healthcare system for the American people by Paul Ryan. I don't think I knew it even said that when I bought this. I thought it was just like this weird like thing that says Shannon. But I just, I don't wear it, so it needs to go away. By the way, the healthcare system does suck. Yeah, I love overalls. I love overalls, but I've worn these once. I think I got, oh, maybe it came out. I always get worried wearing a lot of white. You have to wear like certain underwear with this. <coughs> Let's go through. This has been such a cute sweater. I've worn it quite a few times. I think I'll keep it. This dress. Any of you guys have items where you still wear it, but every time you wear it, you wonder why am I wearing this? It's just because I have it. If I don't have it, I don't have that excuse. And if a special event comes up, that's just a time that's like, okay, then I just need to get something that I will like on myself for the event. Not like, guess I'll see what I have in my closet. I don't know. I just feel like that does more damage to me than just spending some extra money at the time for a nice little dress that I'm going to feel happy in going to whatever event I was invited to. I bought this, never wore it. I don't like it. David calls it my diaper shirt. <laughs> Because it makes him think of kids. It's one of these. What are they called? Onesies? Or what are they called? They have these and it does make me think of like the babies that they put their little onesie on. Once again, another shirt. If I was smaller busted, I would probably like more, but I'm not. So this California, I got it when I wasn't living in California. I moved out and I missed the state and I just wanted a sweater. I left Orange County after I'd visit David and I bought this and I loved wearing it but now I'm like I really don't need to wear it like I just don't sometimes I'm like I don't want this though like I like Calvin Klein but I don't need to tell everyone I'm wearing Calvin Klein so another thing is I love cardigans girl I love a good cardigan 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 I love a good cardigan I wore a lot of these when I was a teacher I'm not a teacher anymore and when I wear these I've been told oh you have that like cute grandma look I'm not trying to look like a grandma. I will look like that when I'm a grandma. I'm not even a mom. That's not a compliment. This one, I love it. I actually forget that I have it because it's blending in with more stuff. Like that's the problem. When you have things, too many things, then you forget about what you have because it's hidden. Normally I'll say, hey, if you can't even remember you have it, get rid of it, but I forget a lot of things. So I'm gonna keep this one, I do love it. I don't fit in this as great as I'd like to. This is Emo's Not Dead. Me, David, and Matt all got these, and this thing was like 50 something dollars. It's from Emo's Not Dead, which is um, Matt Cutshaw, I don't know. He's a content creator as well, and we thought it would be really cute to have matching hoodies. I don't wanna get rid of these. This is a conflicting piece because I actually got this from a brand that was selling really cute kawaii things and I ordered what I thought would be my size. My battery's dying. These are so cute and I honestly haven't tried them on since that other time so I think I will. These are something I might just keep because they're so cute and I... It's not like they take up a lot of room, they're just folded there but they're so cute, they're new. And as much as I'd love to just be like, don't, you know, I'm, I'm going to get to my own word, which is like, don't keep it if you haven't worn it in a year. But they're like, look at, they're like embroidered on the bottom, they're corduroy. <sighs> I can't wait to like have a new camera that doesn't kill its battery within like 10 minutes. Good morning, guys. I almost put my coffee. That's great. Welcome back, you guys. I'm gonna be honest, I was feeling really lazy this morning, so my morning just went by so slow. I didn't feel too great, and I'm like, okay, first of all, I'm not gonna get any more energy just sitting here in bed watching YouTube. So I caught up and I did some things, and I realized, oh, I didn't read my Bible yet. I try to like start my day off reading scripture. I pray for those that I just have on my heart, and I usually sit by my window to just kind of like be refreshed in the morning and fill my mind with positive thoughts or even just deep thoughts that really make me think about like my life and where I'm going in it and what God has for me. 
So I was, I opened up and I'm like, oh yeah, I should probably continue reading my Proverbs. I love reading Proverbs, but it also convicts me. So I was reading it and um, this one was Prover in Proverbs 20. It says, a sluggard does not plow in season. So at harvest time, he looks but finds nothing. And I, no joke, think about so many times that I, and maybe you're like this, there's like things that you kind of start or you have all the plans and you're telling everyone and you just feel like you have all the material for things or even cosplay whatever but then the work's not put in and later you're like my youtube channel's dead or like i ran out of time i just have to throw on whatever i want for this convention like whatever it is or it could be like your actual job and your boss is like we might have to let you go and it's just and you want to get upset but then if you really i mean this is if you didn't put the work in now if you did you might have issues with the bad boss but what i'm saying is that so many times i myself just have so many like plans and thoughts and maybe one or two videos here and there on my youtube and then later i'd be like telling people like oh yeah I, I i'm not really growing or i'm not like i i have nothing to say because there really is no work that i'm putting in so after i read that i look at this pile i look at my camera and i'm like okay let's finish this video i almost i was about to like make a whole new video about why i just didn't feel like finishing anymore like i was just gonna be like you know what i just put the clothes away you guys saw what you saw like it's over and i'm just being honest because i think a lot of us might struggle with this I need this. I, I struggle so hard. Yeah, sure, maybe this video is just getting like 50 views. But if there's like one of you that this... Even if there's just one of you or one of my friends that's watching this or a family member and you feel encouraged to... Even if you're a stay-at-home person, mom, dad, a student, whatever it is, there's going to be areas that you can put your work into and you will see the benefits. You will have a harvest at that time. So maybe on my YouTube videos aren't too great right now, but I'm like, I gotta put in this work. I gotta keep trying and putting, putting my hands to the plow. And then at harvest time, later on, maybe next year, when I, I don't even know what's gonna happen or we have to move and I'm like, hey, I have a job that I can go anywhere, YouTube, and I'm getting paid. So I don't know, let's just, I just wanted to share that. Let's get back to the video though. So I did kind of fix this up. There wasn't really anything to get rid of, I had like one t-shirt I just ended up tossing and this is my workout self. So this is like workout and then sleeping. There's not a lot. It's literally just in these little bins. We are going to go over my bags and so there's some shoes down here that we will kind of go through. That's going to be next. We have some things that I'm still not sure about and you know what's hard is that like some of this I've worn a lot. This is a nice like black turtleneck. I almost feel like if I get rid of this, I'm like, shoot, I don't have a black turtleneck, but it's so thick and itchy. And so I can always find a simple black long sleeve somewhere else. This is another one that I do like, but every time I wear it, it's just so tight here, so tight. And it's because the way they sew this piece, like literally just this stuff and i'm kind of like can i take that out but i think it destroys this whole side and i've worn it a lot but the times i've worn it i just sucking in so hard because it gets super tight here so any pooch or anything that you have going on here like my abdomen it's tight on here like it gets tight here and it gets tight here so all this sticks out it's really awkward and this is just one of those things where i'm like you know what feel so worried to be in and i know like like i totally understand like to grow confidence in yourself and know that you are created beautifully and it's okay to have bulges and curves and all these things but there's certain clothing and this is what i'm trying to so please i hope you understand you're not taking this the wrong way there's just certain clothing that like accentuate that certain part so it's awkward. It's not like, oh, like you have shape. It's just like, why is it tight on these random spots? It's just my body, my body shape isn't really good for these. So we're gonna have to move on from them and it's okay. Um, I do have this, I'm going to get rid of it sadly. I got a large and it doesn't fit me too well. It fits really awkwardly and the waist is like, I have to, <laughs> see it's pinned. 
I probably could sew it better. I probably could sew it, but you'd have to like redo the whole top too. I don't know, part of me wanted to like keep this and make it into a skirt. I don't know if any of you guys are into alterations, but maybe I, maybe I should talk to my sister and see if she wants this. Steph, if you're watching this, do you want this dress thing? Because like the top's like a weird, it's just like, it's like a stretch knit. And then the bottom is just, it's really pretty. It is a, um, what do they call it? Oh, I used, I think Hilo, Hilo hem. So anyway, my sister might want that. It's actually very nice, but it doesn't fit me well. And so we're getting rid of it. There's a lot of cute stuff in here. Like, look at that. That's the sleeve. It looks like a little, it's like, yeah, bell sleeves. They're bell sleeves. It's super cute, but it's gonna go. Yeah, it's nice, but there's a lot of areas where these pieces are like, just like pulled out. So I think it might go back to the thrift store unless someone wants it. This dress I love. I don't know why I didn't take it out. No, I'm keeping this. I love the fit of this and I need to be reminded. What is going on with that? Oh, maybe it's getting worn. I need to be reminded that I like the fit of this. And that's why it's good to keep pieces that you really love on your body. Because then you can remember, oh, I like the way this dress fits on me. That's that it even has like... It's, it's coming apart and it's sad that I can sew and I haven't sewn that back. That shows that, you know, that's one of my little lazy areas. I just don't put myself to work, but I'm keeping this one. I don't know why I didn't take it out, but Calvin Klein. And I don't remember why I don't want it. I think I just look too like boxy and that's, I don't care for that look. Like I just feel like I'm trying to look like a business, like official. Just, I, I look at myself in this and I'm like, it's just not flattering. It's not flattering. Look at this. Like, where can I? I don't know. I, I'm not feeling it. Okay. Um, this was, I don't know. It's just, it just doesn't bring me joy. That's how it goes. This one, <laughs> I wore it to a red carpet little event thing. It was a movie premiere, um, a movie that our friend Chris worked on as an editor. And so it was really cool. It was in Newport and we, it felt, it was just cool. It was one of the first big things I've done, I did when I moved here. And I'm like, man, I went to a couple, I've gone to a couple red carpet events now, but I think I want to like try to sell this one. This one I wore to uh, a New Year's thing with David, our first New Year's. So a lot of this stuff I've kept just because it's like, oh, our first this, our first that. But it is cute. So this is definitely like something I think people would want. I don't want it anymore. I don't really watch anime anymore. I'm not against it, just don't really watch it. This one I have to get rid of. I have to sell these. Did I wash this? I think so, yeah. It smells pretty clean. Yeah, some of the stuff I have to get rid of because it just doesn't fit well. I was going to wear this on Halloween and it was not happening. Like, my chest, everything just wasn't. And so I'm like, you know what? It's okay. I'm really done with everything on here because it's just like, well, I'll show you guys so you know. Because we're hanging out, cleaning together. I already more or less keep it organized, I guess. So these are two bags of wigs. And sorry, they're not even some of them I just use for stream, so they just get put back in there, not in a bag, which is not good. And then I have some things that I'll probably have to take out for Christmas, which I'm gonna do next week. Decorate for Christmas time, because next week's already Thanksgiving, and um, that's just like a day to eat. So I'm like, okay, well, we're going to just clean all this up. So now that we have this pile of clothing, I have my clothes I'm keeping here. I have clothes on the ground that I'm going to get rid of. And then I have my clothing I'm going to sell somewhere online or something or through my friends. But basically keep, try to get some money off of and donate. And honestly, I feel like this is still the bigger pile, which is okay. I need clothes. All right. So I'm going to do this really quickly. I think I'll do a fun time lapse. You guys can enjoy some music while you watch this get put back into place. So I hope that you have enjoyed the process and now we get to enjoy the nice oh, putting everything back together. Oh, wait. I forgot our accessories. There's not a lot I'm gonna get rid of from here, but I was going to show some items I am getting rid of. It was cute, it served its purpose for a while, but 
I don't see myself wearing this again. Oh, I have pins in here. I better make sure Disneyland back. Make sure you look through your stuff before you get rid of it. Oh, it's stuff in the hotel. Not me keeping all the soaps and shower caps from the Grand Californian. All right, so I'm gonna get that one. And then I also know that I was gonna get rid of some other little baggies that I've kept for a while. This guy I've worn everywhere and it's like kind of weird like looking, but I think someone might like it. I'm gonna try to wipe it clean. I do try to clean my stuff before donating it because I just feel like it's just better. It's nice, it makes it look nicer. I feel bad because I got one of these, but I really just like, I don't know, I buy these cute things and like I said, like I was just going through something where I was trying to be extra like kawaii, but now I'm like, um, it just sits on the shelf. And this, I feel bad my mom gave this to me from one of my aunts, but not like a new gift. It was just used purses and I was like, yeah, I can use one. Never used it. I am going to get rid of my canvas docks. They're nice, but I never wear them. There was a time where I went through this like camo, military, I don't even know what, but I had this whole like, oh, these are so sick. And now I just, I don't have things that I feel like would like, look even good. So I have those, I have these black fans that a friend gave me, they were hers. I put them on and I trip every time I wear them because they're a little too long. They're like a nine and I'm more of an eight. And that little extra bit in a van, like a flat vans like this, it's not good. Oh yeah, I did find these. These are other shoes that my feet are not big enough for. And I think I will have to get rid of these too. I'll have to sell them. They're from ASOS. And they're so cute, but they're once again too big for me. So when I wear these, my feet slide back and forth, back and forth. And I'm like, I want, like I am holding on to these shoes. But the sad part is I can't wear them without socks. And maybe that's okay. I don't think I'm ready to let go of these. I might try them. I don't know. I might look up some styles. Like, is it okay to wear these kind of like shoes with socks? Like thick socks? two bags full we have a bag of the jackets or sweaters and long sleeve I'm gonna see where i can donate this for winter time because i know there's a lot of coat and like sweater and stuff like the coat drives and then this is just like the clothes stuff that i'll probably just donate maybe to savers or something but sweaters and jackets i feel like so important Stuff that I'm going to sell. All right. It looks so nice and organized. Look at that, guys. So much better and nice and clean. Sweaters, the dresses and tops and jackets I kept. I probably could use a few more like layering pieces that'll work. I definitely want a black sweater to wear this like to wear over this so that just the stripes kind of show on the ends I think that's a cool look um, I do have some sweaters so you really don't need to be buying cardigans or sweaters but I'm thinking just the layerable pieces might be nice maybe some another dress because I really don't have dresses for anything and then hoodies and sweaters well I hope that you enjoyed this content and hopefully encourage somebody or many of you and I am ready to continue on what i have next on my to-do list all right thank you guys let me know if you enjoyed this or if you'd like to know of any other organization or whatever let me know bye guys have a good good day and rest your week